I am Dr. Praneet, pediatric neurosurgeon working here at Rainbow Children Hospital. Today I will be discussing about birth defects of spine which is also called as spina bifida. We will be going through the incidence, detection and treatment of spina bifida. So to know about the incidence, the spina bifida can occur in 1 in 500 to 1 in 1000 of the deliveries which happen routinely. These defects usually start to form at four weeks of gestation at the time usually most of the females even just get to know they are pregnant. To prevent these defects, we would advise to have a proper regular consultation with a gynecologist before the conception and to start folic acid precautionary doses before the conception because by the time the females get to know that they are pregnant, most of the formation of brain and spine has already been initiated and which cannot be prevented later by any means. The crucial time of formation of brain is between 4 to 8 weeks where along with the brain and spine, most of the other major organs also have their initial phase of formation. After the formation of the baby, the detection of these spinal defects usually happen at the time of nuchal thickness scan and which is also called NT scan or a TIFA scan which is done at 20 weeks. These anomalies vary from severe to mild where the severe anomalies usually undergo a spontaneous abortion which is a natural way of excluding a very sick baby. The mild and moderate variants which we get to detect during the TFA scan depending upon the various associated anomalies along with the spine anomalies, a team of doctors with the parents usually take a decision about the morbidity which the patient baby can have after the birth and the decision is taken whether an abortion or a continuation of pregnancy can be done. The decision is completely depends upon the family and um, a consensus between the family and the doctors, treating doctors. Once the baby under, comes to a term pregnancy, depending upon the anomaly, type of the anomaly, a decision is taken whether a baby, the female can undergo a normal vaginal delivery or a, if she needs a cesarean section. If a baby is delivered to a normal delivery or a cesarean section, baby is examined immediately after birth. The various uh, features which can be noted at the birth. The most important features which have to be noted are CSF leak from the swelling. Usually these anomalies can, can present with swelling or a discharge or a sinus, sometimes skin over the back or a tag of skin over the back. The danger signs being a large thin swelling with thin cover or a swelling where there is a fluid leak from the swelling. Sometimes in very abnormal situations we can see the nerves can also be protruding out of the skin when they are born. Those conditions where there is a CSF leak or nerves which are exposed are called as spina bifida operta. Where there is a complete cover of the skin it is called spina bifida occulta. Patients, babies might require surgery as early as day one of life depending upon the situation. If there is a continuous CSF leak, it is a risk to, for infection to spread into the spinal canal and the brain and a surgery has to be done as soon as possible to close the CSF leak and reconstruct the skin. The requirement of surgery has two uh, major goals. One is covering over the spinal cord. The second one is to free up the spinal cord which is stuck to the bone or due to the fat mass which is coming out of the back. The children with born with spina bifida can have problems in three aspects. First being weakness in the lower legs. Second is difficulty or problem in passing urine. Third being difficulty in passing stools. Depending upon the type of the lesion and nerves involved, there can be varied presentation from a normal looking child to a complete neurological deficit in the form of complete weakness of the limbs. A detailed MRI is performed followed by 
counseling and surgery as required depending upon the lesion. These children will usually require follow up with a neurosurgeon, pediatric urologist and physiotherapist, neurologist for rehabilitation and maintenance of a proper bowel and bladder care. These children usually make have a normal life otherwise if not associated with any other anomalies but the morbidity is usually with respect to their legs and bowel and bladder. Most of these patients would survive into their adulthoods. Those children which are having very minor defects, they can present with back pain or some limb weakness once they attain their puberty where there is a spurt of height increase leading to stretching of the cord requiring surgery at age of 14 to 16 years. Most of these patients, this disease can be considered as preventable by proper folic acid prophylaxis during the preconception and which is continued during the whole of the pregnancy. Here at Rainbow Children Hospital, we have a multidisciplinary team for preoperative and postoperative care including pediatric neurologist, urologist, rehabilitation physicians, pediatric anesthetist. We have state-of-the-art microscope and intraoperative monitoring facilities which will help the patient get the best care for their future. Thank you.